All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. I'm sitting in the uh, office here. And uh, yesterday, as I was doing the uh, deal on the uh, rare breed trigger, or the uh, wide open triggers, and the deal with the ATF uh, visiting all the uh, manufacturers, retailers, and distributors, uh, I was talking to John Crump because I wanted to follow up and get the accurate information. He usually has uh, the inside scoop and the latest on everything else. And in, in our conversation, uh, we kind of talked about this thing about Matt Hoover over there at CRS Firearms and the fact that uh, the ATF just uh, apprehended him as he was on, not the ATF, I think it was U.S. Marshals. Well, anyway, I'm not going to be too specific on this thing because I really don't know the true details. Um, but Flying Rich sent me an email yesterday and everybody else in her comments um, I didn't want to comment on the subject uh, with Matt until I knew a little bit more of the details involved. And now that I do, it's kind of interesting that uh, the whole thing stems from they were charging him with conspiracy because uh, this uh, auto key card company was sponsoring his channel. And, and I guess he was doing some type of promotional stuff and maybe did a giveaway or whatever. And and for you guys that don't know what an auto key card is, I don't have one laying here, but it's just basically a piece of metal, about this big. And on it is the outline of uh, some auto thing that makes something go full auto, I guess. I'm not sure. But it's just a, a, a piece of metal with uh, the drawing on it. So they, uh, because he... Uh, received funds from this company, okay, sponsorship, just like, you know, say for instance, Callaway Ballistics, they send me uh, ammunition. I don't take money from them, but they send me ammunition. Or if you have an affiliate link with Primary Arms or uh, Big Daddy Unlimited or, you know, the guys, uh, uh, you know, at uh, Palmetto State Armory. I, I have an affiliate link. If you go to my website, kb32tag.com, there's links over there, shows you cool things or whatever, and you go through that, I get paid a commission on this stuff. So, And it's not, not out of the ordinary. Everybody does it. It's just if you see an ad, everybody gets paid a little bit of a commission on stuff. So that's the scary part about it is that we're sitting here, I'm thinking to myself, where does this end? Okay, I understand that the auto key card is something that the ATF declared as being a full auto machine gun. That card, that piece, that piece of steel, that metal, it's kind of like the rare breed trigger. It's a trigger system, but they declared that as part of a firearm is by itself a, considered a firearm. So a grand jury was put together, and I'm sure that, uh, you know, they had a bunch of idiots on this thing, and uh, they were able to influence a grand jury to go ahead and indict this guy or have him picked up. And as a matter of fact, his wife, who he just got married to, and they're saying that he got married to escape uh, or avoid or evade justice or, uh, you know, because if you're uh, married, you, take, you don't have to uh, testify, which is one of the reasons why Bill and Hillary Clinton have not gotten divorced if you think about it, because, well, you know, they would have to uh, testify against each other. <laughs> Not a laughing subject. So anyway, before we get too far into this, I'm going to put the link down for the GoFundMe. And speaking of GoFundMe, here's the other issue that happened with this whole situation is once the guy from the auto key card thing was arrested, okay, um, and I actually went back and watched all of uh, Matt's videos on this thing. Matter of fact, my first interaction with Matt was a long time ago. He did a video critique or something that we did on a live chat, and he was actually calling me Cody Boy. He didn't even know how to say my name. So anyway, didn't have a... But when he was demonetized and stuff like that, I, I actually have his phone number, and uh, he reached out to me, and, and uh, I tried to advise him as best I could. All right, so anyway, he started... A GoFundMe is, I don't know, did I say, there's going to be a link down below for the GoFundMe for him, okay? And uh, a lot of people are donating, I think, as of right now, when I looked at it a few minutes ago, it was up to like $54,000, all right? Because what happens, I think he's up in Wisconsin, but because what they say, the act or whatever it was, uh, the, the charges are coming out of Florida, he had to go all the way down there. Um, as of right now, uh, I'm watching a few things, uh, he's still... Uh, incarcerated, which is absolute bullshit. But they hit him up with another thing uh, with a so-called conspiracy deal. Conspiracy to uh, commit something. I don't know what the hell they're talking about, but 
he started a GoFundMe to help this cat out from Auto Key Card. And because he did that, they're saying that he was unlawful in doing so. So they charged him with that. And I'm just going, well, hell, we're doing a GoFundMe for him. So uh, what's the deal? How does that work? Um, <laughs> does everybody who donate money get charged with a conspiracy deal? Uh, so anyway, it's a far reach. And it's, it's, it's basically a case of where um, I think he did enough videos where it really caught a lot of people's attention. Um, and this is me speculating. And unfortunately, uh, they caught they they caught wind of everything that was going on, and that, not that he was doing anything in, in, wrong, which is the bullshit part about it. It's, it's made up bullshit, and that's why I feel like they had a, a grand jury, and a grand jury is a group of people to get there and they present their case, and the grand jury has to decide if this is something that they feel is. Uh, and it, I'm not a lawyer, so who knows. So anyway, uh, long story short, uh, they went ahead and uh, brought him in, and uh, he's down there. Hopefully, uh, this these funds for the GoFundMe will help him out. Now, there are some people who may not like him, people who like him, whatever. I think we as a gun community have to stick together, uh, which, in my opinion, is hard enough for keep people in line in the gun community uh, on each other's side because they keep fighting one another. If you're not the purist and you're no, whatever. In any case, uh, long story short, GoFundMe is down below. Uh, Flying Rich, thank you very much. John Crump, thanks for all the stuff that you're doing. Uh, Tim up there at the Arms Channel, he's um, doing public with it a lot. Uh, and uh, man, this kid needs our help. So with any way, uh, the link's down below. Please do what you can to help out. If you can, share this information. Uh, with all your friends. If you have a YouTube channel, how about join in on the on the fight? And uh, we'll go from there. But with that being said, uh, Matt, we're thinking about you. Thinking about your wife, the two kids. I think it's bullshit. They indicted her. Uh, Y'all had to do the trip down to Florida. I watched all those videos. Just, just absolutely crazy. And I mean, next thing you know, man, um, yeah, they're showing up at our doors. Bullshit. And it all stems from that asshole in Washington. It's Code Boy 32, KB32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform who support our Constitution as was written by our founding fathers. Because I got to throw that in there because people, there's a lot of assholes out there will just do what they're told. That being said, y'all be good. KB32, I am out of here. Boom.